We have a question from Luke. I've recently taken up marathon and sprint kayaking. I'm assuming marathon kayaking and sprint kayaking. And one thing I have noticed is that in the boat, my heart rate doesn't get up beyond 115 to 120. Uh, interesting thing right there. But I feel that I'm expending maximal effort. You are. Uh, this is what Leonard Schwartz discovered with uh, the heavy hand stuff. Is He called it pan aerobics, I think. I'm pretty sure he called it that. And what he discovers an interesting thing is that VO2 max, boom, 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 and heart rate are much different than people think. When you're using your upper body, your heart rate and your heart rate doesn't tend to go. Let's see if I get this. If it's science, I get a little lost here. Doesn't tend to go high, but your VO2 max does. And it's just this interesting little thing that he picked up on. And you'll notice that with cross-country skiers, when you look at the amount of work they do, their heart rates through, should be through the ceiling. They're high, but they're the highest ever discovered for VO2 max. By contrast, when I run, run, legs only, my heart rate gets up to 150 plus with no issues, and I feel like it's quite easy. Is it the case that if I increase the strength and or endurance of my muscles, then I would begin to uh, able to draw more power from my cardiovascular system it would be able to raise my heart rate up further? If so, which of the two, strength or endurance, would be better to directly train? And would increasing strength have a knock-on effect on endurance by making the submaximal loads more submaximal? Uh, Luke, that's, a, that's good, man. Yes, I, that's why I think strength training. So you're an athlete, so you got to quit thinking of, you're not going to get your endurance in the weight room. You're going to get your endurance with the marathon and sprint kayaking. And because it's a very specific kind of endurance you need. You can run all you want and get your heart rate up as high as you like. And maybe that'll be impressive on some line, online thing like Reddit or something, but no one in the race is gonna care what your heart rate is. They just wanna care, they just care about where you are in relation to the time or place. So yeah, you wanna get really strong, uh, I think. I'm not sure what muscles you're gonna, you need to build and in your kayaking races, but I can almost guarantee it's going to be the traditional big muscles of the body. Um, and because you are sitting down and kayaking, that doesn't mean you should ignore the legs. The, the legs are still massive powerhouses. Um, years ago, I talked to somebody about, it was something along the lines of, of a kayaking thing. And they said that one of the little secrets was, was keeping your legs strong because if you're, you're still using your legs, you just don't notice it as much. And don't forget, the body's one piece. If you've got well-conditioned legs, they're part of the full system. I don't know if you could have a well-conditioned upper body and a not well-conditioned lower body. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I would say train for strength. And I mean, keep an eye on your heart rate, but it's going to be lower than you think it is when you're doing kayaking.